Today we're going to the oldest LGBT bookshop in the UK. And for members of the LGBT community, this is so much more than just a bookshop. It doesn't just contribute in the sense of being a shop, it contributes as a safe space, as a place that people can come and just be. You know, sometimes people will come in, we'll, we'll know them, they'll be regulars, but they know I'm about a book that time, they just want, just, just want to be in the space. It's a really nice space to be in. I've definitely, before I worked here, I definitely know how that feels, is wanting to be in this space and coming to it and, and finding comfort and community here. I can't really imagine not wanting to work here. It's just such a legendary part of the UK for a community. And it all started back in 1979 when the shop was set up as a community space by a group of gay socialists. It's one of the very few dedicated LGBT bookshops here in the UK and it's become quite the landmark in London. I think it's essential to have books about LGBT people and written by LGBT people. Like there's been a lot of um, studies into the importance of representation and how much we as, as people and as society learn about other people that aren't like us through media, through books. And so I think it's very, very important that, that those kind of books exist as a support for queer writers to, to produce stories that are true to them and that represent them. Um, I know I figured out a lot of my identity through books, but I also continue to feel sort of seen and you know feel like I have. You don't feel so alone knowing that there are other people out there that write things that then mean something to you or that you kind of resonate with. And I think also, yeah, just to show that, you know, we are a, you know, a minority, but there are actually quite a lot of us and we, we have a big community and a very vibrant and very diverse community. And so it's really important as well that within that, it's not just one part of the LGBT community that is represented. It's really, really important that we now, you know, we now have a trans fiction section, which there's enough trans fiction to, to fill a section now, which was not true maybe five or 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good that we now have lots and lots of authors of color, um, people from different class backgrounds, people from different parts of the world, um, because the queer experience that we have here in London is very, very different to the queer experience in the other countries. So. Yeah, it's really important to have LGBT writers and then within that to have the true representation of the full community within that as well. The shop is one of my favourite places in the world and I think it's just such an incredible space in terms of how it's, it is you know, first and foremost a bookshop but also a place that people will come as the first place that they go that is an LGBT space that maybe feels a little gentler or more accessible as a, as a place to visit. Um, it has such a long history, um, you know, we have people who come in because they've seen it in the movie Pride or they're just aware of it from a really long history. Um, and then, you know, we have people who come in because they want books to help them or to help them understand the people in their lives and so um, it's it's a very special place to work because you're selling books but also sometimes you're holding that space for people who have never been to a queer space before or are very very nervous or really really excited to be somewhere like this for the first time and that's just a very special special experience. It's always had a very strong community element. We, we've always had groups that meet here. The lesbian discussion group that meets here um, has been meeting here for I think over 40 years now um, and it's one of like that's that's a kind of incredible lineage for that group um, mm. and they've, they've met here that whole time except during Covid. When it opened the bookshop had to overcome opposition from Camden Council and due to the dire lack of LGBT writing and publishers back then they had to import a lot of stuff. And so HM Customs and Excise raided and seized a whole lot of their stock in 1984. Basically, they assumed that it was a corn shop. They were also then charged with conspiracy to import indecent books, which was motivated by homophobia and brought the case to the House of Commons. Luckily, gays the word won, and it stood proudly as a beacon for the community ever since. I think I'd say that, you know, wherever you are on your journey, there is a space for you here. We love meeting people in different stages of their journey, you know. Life would be really boring if everyone knew exactly who they were. <laughs> I mean, it might be a little easier for some of us, but, you know, it, it would be very boring if we all just knew exactly who we were and we just turned up and were done. We'd love, personally, for someone who thinks maybe that they they don't quite know how the space works for them to come and find out. Uh. Do you have places like this in your community? And tell us, where should we go next?